Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thanks for joining us on uh, Channel 347 on uh, DSTV. Welcome back to Hilal Live. We continue with the NGO focus uh, and people that are just doing extraordinary work within our communities in South Africa. Another organization uh, I found very intriguing and uh, very impressed with some of the work that they do is Habitat for Humanity South Africa. And to tell us a bit more, linking up uh, via Zoom is the National Director for Habitat for Humanity South South Africa is Machuko Daphne Kao in showing. Uh, good evening, Daphne, mm-hmm. and uh, thank you for joining. Thank you so much for inviting us, and thanks for the opportunity. It's my absolute pleasure. For those that don't know too much about uh, Habitat for Humanity South Africa, give us a bit of his- history and uh, maybe put things into perspective on how this uh, organization okay. came together. Habitat for Humanity South Africa was. Um, As an organization internationally, it was launched in 1976, but Habitat for Humanity South Africa was registered in 1987. So since then, we have been bringing communities together to build homes for people, for vulnerable members of our communities. And we have been doing this uh, with a lot of partners from corporates, Mm -hmm. government, civil society, and uh, our family partners. Brilliant. And as we know, you know, housing has always been a uh, matter of contention. We have so many people still on the housing list um, for low-cost housing or just housing developments in and around South Africa. So this would definitely help yes. alleviate uh, some of those challenges as well. Within the organization, um, do you run any programs? Yes, we do. Uh, we run a few programs. Uh, most of them are housing-related. Mm-hmm. Um, every year around July, we participate in the Nelson Mandela Build. Mm-hmm. And uh, how we do it, we raise funds from corporates and we get uh, volunteers from all walks of life in, in, in South Africa. And we, we dedicate a week to building houses for people. And then again, in, in August, we also have women's build. Mm-hmm. And uh, we also do that in October uh, to commemorate the 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 Habitat Day, mm-hmm. so those are our special programs that we do. But in between, we partner with um, corporates and we partner with government to you know as an implementing agent to build houses um, for for the members of of our communities. So we've had large scale projects like the one that we did in KZN mm-hmm. and we've built close to 800 units wow. uh, over some time we started in 2018 and we just finalizing the project now but in other instances we built 10 15 20 and one of our flagship programs uh, that we just uh, and uh, handed over above about 10 completed units uh, was also in KZN and we were now assisting uh, people that were affected by the recent floods right. that we had in the country in 2022. Right. So it's mostly around housing but we also have uh, another program which is fairly new It's called Wash It's Water, Sanitation and Hygiene. And we do that in schools. We work with a number of schools. We get corporates that that donate to us. And we assist schools with um, ablution facilities as well as clean running water Mm -hmm. to make sure that we don't have uh, interrupted learning and teaching. Brilliant. I like that idea as well. I would imagine the um, partnership that you have with government assists with um, some of the land that will be used for your recipients of these houses. Yes, um, some of the, 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 mostly the land that we work on, government has already uh, serviced the land 
and uh, we work with government to select the, the the qualifying beneficiaries and make sure that you know they are registered uh, on the databases of the municipality, the provincial government, and the national government, and they also follow the the criteria that right. government has. And uh, when we work with uh, traditional authorities, it's slightly different because uh, they they normally don't have bulk services. Mm, mm. So the type of services that we put there are different from what you find in your urban areas. Right. During the build of uh, some of the houses or with the schools that you assist as well, do you then uh, you know take on subcontractors? Do you create jobs within the industry? Yes, uh, we we do a uh, open tendering system, mm-hmm. and we we get uh, um, contractors that are registered with a CIDB uh, that meet uh, the correct criteria, and we also have a partnership with the National Home Builders Registration Council to ensure that uh, quality assurance mm, and the important. type of houses that we meet that we build they meet the standard brilliant i think that's so important because you know you want to bring dignity back uh, to some of your recipients and give them a home that will last for you know a lifetime as well being an npo being an organization that works within the community what are some of your immediate challenges um that you currently face and how do you overcome some of these challenges (laughs) Some of the challenges that we we experience is that you know um, um, raising funds is not is not an easy task. Yeah. Uh, we try and do that uh, with corporates here at home, but we also try and raise funds internationally. So it's not an easy task because um, you know uh, even post uh, COVID uh, the the. The focus shifted a bit from uh, the types of projects that we do, and it has gone more into education, into greening, Mm. into health issues and all of that. So you find that it's difficult to to get as much funds as we want because the demand is high, but uh, we we cannot meet uh, the need of everyone. So whenever we go into communities, we find people, I mean, your opening statement was saying that we have people that have been waiting sometimes for 30 years. And now we we just operate with the limited resources that we have. But then when you go into communities, communities want to know when are you going to come to my area? When are mm-hmm. you going to come to my section? When are you coming back? You know, um, and also, um, you know, you have to make sure that you work with the community-based of structures. Course. You work with the municipality, the ward councillors, uh, the traditional authorities that that you find in an area. But sometimes um, uh, people demand jobs; they don't right. ask to be to be given an opportunity to to subcontract. They right. demand, wow. and you you always have to to balance and say, you know what, uh, we can only offer you uh, maybe um, no more than 30 opportunities per house. Gotcha. So, uh, you know, we, we we have to bring, the, the contractor has to bring his own resources, but they can subcontract some of the people that are, that are living in the area. Right. So it is just a balancing act that you have to have when you go into communities. Yeah. To our audience watching this interview today, um, what are the best methods for them to get hold of you? And maybe how can they get involved to assist your organization? Um, we've got a website. Um, you can just check Habitat for Humanity South Africa, and it also guides you on how to get involved. We've got um, um, a dedicated section that deals with people that just want to volunteer their time. Mm-hmm. Some people want to donate in kind. Some people want to give us uh, building materials and all of that. But some people want to give us furniture for the houses that we are building. So we welcome any kind of help that we can get for for uh, members of our communities. And uh, you can always... Uh, 
um, try us on all of the, the emails that have been listed there. And uh, I don't mind also uh, sharing my, my sure. contact details that okay. you can put on your platform as well for people to access. Brilliant. Us. National Director for Habitat for Humanity in South Africa. Uh, Daphne, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you. Thank you for affording us your time. All the very best with your future projects. Lovely, and thank you for having us. You're welcome. Thanks. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. Here we go. Go and visit uh, Habitat for Humanity if you'd like to get involved, if you'd like to assist. Uh, you know, lo uh, housing has always been on the cards uh, year in and year out with regards to government trying their level best but not meeting the needs. And I think organizations like this really assist where necessary. That's all that we have for you for Hilal Live for this week. We're back on Monday between 5 and uh, 6.30 or 7 o'clock. Do join us then. I'm your host, Lukman Shadrach.